You have to actually be kidding me. Look, man, friends, back from the freaking dead, dude. Hi, everyone, and welcome to today's video where we're going to be continuing the A to Z challenge, the challenge where we play every niche in U4 in 1444 with unique national ideas in alphabetical order. And this week, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with a super unique and uh, surprisingly interesting start as the nation of Orleans. I know it's pronounced Orleon. I'm not going to say that. Orleans is a nation located in France, and we do start off as a subject of France, the unique subject type, the appanage right here. And we start off with this 130 guy who's actually not very good at all. Orleanese ideas, I actually don't know them, so let's check them out right now. We start off with plus 10% global trade power, plus 20% fort defense, that's pretty good. Finishing off with plus one monarch diplo skill, not something you see too often. Then we have yearly prestige, uh, morale of armies, plus 10%, and may recruit female generals. Plus two tolerance of the true faith, plus 10% production efficiency, minus 10% construction cost and time. Idea discount, minus 10%, and diplomatic relations. So pretty good set of national ideas right here. Of course, as an appanage, we do also have the ability to fight other French subjects, right here so we may even expand a little bit before we break free from france of course we're gonna see what that's all about but what do we do as orleans well i know what a lot of you are thinking hawk of course you should become the militant order of nuns as orleans you know we got all those unique events those unique government types and a super super cool way to play as them they're the only nation in the game that can do that but here's the thing boys you can only get that militant order of nuns thingy all the way in the age of absolutism which as you all know starts in 1600 and even then it's a hundred years of mean time to happen for that event which means we could potentially wait all the way until 1700 to get that event and obviously that is way 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 too long for an a to z show so with all that said the only thing that's left for us to do today as orleans is of course to break free from france go ahead and colonize louisiana right here because orleans new orleans you get the point and actually form louisiana as orleans so that's going to be the goal for today maybe not that difficult but it is going to take a little bit of time we'll see who colonizes it before us because obviously we're not going to be first and we'll see what we can get up to in the region of france so without further ado let's jump in as orleans and form louisiana all right right here we are as orleans and like i said we might fight some of our uh you know other appanages right here before we break free from france now our land is pretty disconnected we got these two provinces this one right here this one right here a core on a terrain right there so uh could we like immediately declare on these guys we we could right Right? yeah we just need a cb all right so uh i think it's as simple as that man let's uh let's go ahead and do the setup and stuff like that and uh yeah we'll see when we break free from france i guess all right estate stuff mostly done we do have some semi unique uh french subject missions right here where we uh pretty much yeah need to break free and stuff like that and uh then you know we have the ability to form france uh i'm not gonna form france i'm gonna stay as orleans until we form louisiana which of course uh that'll be way after admin tech 10 but uh are we making money right here we're not really making that much money i'm just gonna get a morale guy there we go let's rival armagnac sure let's go ahead and start spying on them and uh i don't know start improving relations with burgundy they would support us so yeah uh our army's right here we can go right there perfect that's a really big army man why do we start off with such a huge army our force limit is actually insane i'm gonna get rid of these horses just to save some money and i'm gonna hire the uh the free company instead way cheaper of course we probably have the war versus as England to uh, look forward to right here in the early portion of the game and France has allied. Uh, they're still allied to Provence. You know, a good thing about France is they usually don't get super powerful allies because they're super powerful themselves. The, the worst thing that could happen for us is them allying Castile, most likely. Or the Ottomans. Frick, I don't want that happening. Oh, actually, it didn't happen. Uh, Yeah, this is... Oh, no, they have allied Castile. <laughs> no. Uh, Yeah, well, there's a bad luck thing, but I think a good luck thing is um, them not fighting England because otherwise they would own all of this as well, so... Yeah. Like this, actually, we could probably get England to support us, too. Uh, what I'm going to do right here is declare on Armagnac, who is, uh, I guess, allied to Bourbon. I don't know how these things work. Uh, they both have level 1 forts, right? Yeah, this will be easy. Okay, let's do it. I don't have a general. I am going to give my ruler mill command. There we go, perfect. And we're done. War wasn't difficult at all. It just took me a little bit of time. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and... Uh, well, this is really the only thing we can do, right? We can't take these two uh, Armagnac provinces. We're not connected to them. We gotta go through Auvergne to get this one. Uh, this one we just can't get. I'm pretty satisfied with that, honestly. Yeah, there we go. Nice, we're done. Is France annexing any of us, though? Not cool. 
cool. Uh, my ruler also died, so uh, yeah. So yeah, uh, I did manage to get Aragon to support my independence, which is pretty nice, I guess. Uh, Burgundy, I can't get. They started hating me. I will be able to get England, though. So yeah, man, tough. Very tough. I guess England would knock out Scotland in this war, but no, I'm gonna get blown up by Castile and France. Yeah, we can't do it with just England and Aragon. Not while they have this alliance. But then again, what if Castile gets Aragon and I lose Aragon too? So really messed up here, man. I wish we could get uh, Austria, but nah. So Fwa fought Armagnac and they made them release Toulouse and then they took this. These guys usually aren't that aggressive in my experience, but uh, I guess we can fight these two guys now. Maybe tiny bonus goal to do this event, right? The fate of Joan Warc? Or not event, decision or whatever it is. All right, Morales back up. I'm just going to continue by fighting Auvergne here. Uh, there's nothing we can do if we co belligerent Foi, so yeah. Super easy. Way easier than the first war. There is uh, Auvergne, ours as well. Is France doing something to us? They're not. I'm the only one that's... Oh no, Foi is actually really disloyal as well. Doesn't doesn't really matter though. Uh, let's fight Toulouse too. Okay, France and Austria have rivaled each other. That's good for me. Yeah, as soon as England out of this war we can get them as well perfect our apanages european daimyos improving relations with austria already got england so things are going nice uh let's declare on toulouse here and i hope austria gets hungry in the meantime france declared their first war versus provence obviously they waited for the truce to run out lorraine is in this too milan and siena should be very easy for them uh there's nothing i can get here so i'm not really even gonna do anything our own little war is done once again we've expanded quite a lot while still being a subject man that's pretty good i think we took all of these provinces so we've grown by like five provinces that's pretty cool yeah just gonna try and get austria man we we can't do it with uh ah, they got naples too yeah yeah, very tough. We can't break free. Nah. At least we're making pretty good money for some reason. I'm gonna start building buildings. Now, the thing is, Austria doesn't wanna help me mainly because of too many diplomatic relations, but my relations with them will go above 30 here, man. So, would they flip friendly in that case? Well, Austria's not gonna get hungry. <laughs> What's with the rulers, man? It's like two guys in nine years. I always make them generals. I don't get it. Uh... They never die that often. Freaking no more ruler generals, I guess. The second guy was pretty good too. Uh, maybe if France takes this now, they can border Austria. Maybe then Austria will be more willing to help. I don't know. But they did not take that. No Austria, but randomly we can get Savoy. That's pretty good. We'll take it. You can probably tell that I'm not developing the Renaissance right now. It's because, uh, you know, the penalties to developing as a subject are not larger what the frick hmm. okay so castile declared on england here now how does that work that's actually not good right or okay what the hell happened france declared war on their new enemy castile they cite succession war as their cb no what happened man okay S no changes with france castile aragon became a junior partner of castile but is it not the iberian wedding i guess france is contesting that aragonese succession war so this is a castile pewing aragon non iberian union way and france is contesting it i don't think anyone can contest the event this is good though i i guess they're not allied anymore but if france is contesting it maybe they feel like they can definitely get aragon so portugal isn't in this they dishonored it. So what happens now? England? We can't do this. We still need Austria, man. Break, dude. Let's see how this uh, convoluted mess turns out. Meanwhile, strength and noble privileges. Oh, I don't know. This is a unique government type. Plus 10% national manpower, nobles, loyalty, nobles, influence. Okay, even more nobles, influence. We gotta be careful with that. But lots of manpower. <laughs> okay, we're good. So the best thing to happen here would be England beating Castile. And then while this France-Castile war is still going on, me declaring on France with England helping out in Savoy. I don't know how possible that is, but... Yeah. Okay, look, I guess France is exhausting their troops because they're fighting Aragon or something. And I think the number, the French army strength thing, I think that went down. So, or no, maybe the French navy strength. Let's see. Oh, yeah. They lost to Castile and Aragon's fleets. Okay, so what I need to do now, Orlean army strength. Okay, okay. I don't have any loans. I'm actually going to get new burger loans. We're really good with money right here. And uh, let's embrace the Renaissance too. Oh, uh, I'm going to go ahead and hire the Swiss guard guys, the these guys, the these guys let's see what happens after they recruit yes 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 there's austria dude they're not like super purple or anything like that but we can definitely do this uh there we go there's some missions as well so i think if i declare on france here i hop out of this castile aragon war i'm not really sure but we got more troops either way i think if we all gang up on savoy first england can knock out scotland and then it's just liege that's the annoying one and then france we gotta do this and i'm losing how much loans can i take out 
one loans. And right now I have five. I'm actually going to keep these stacks up for like a year, man. Let's go ahead and declare on France. There's the independence war. Independence, defend capital, Orlean. Orleans. And here goes nothing. Now, how can this happen immediately? I just hopped out of that war, bro. No, sorry, England. Thanks for helping me, but I'm not helping you, bud. We've been at this war for three or four years now. Initially, I did get pummeled quite a lot by France, but, uh, you know, luckily England and Austria managed to peace out Scotland and Naples. And then uh, France focused on England right here, which enabled us to siege down quite a lot. By the way, France is still in this war versus, uh, you know, all of these guys down here. So they are having trouble with that. And uh, England did manage to win versus Castile. So, uh, yeah, uh, let's keep going england's out okay so castile pieced out as well they did keep aragon i've actually never seen this happen man it's kind of weird oh they made champagne pop out okay let's keep going was independent you gotta be kidding me man he wasn't even in charge or anything i've had three rulers die in 19 years okay we're finally done let me see what i do here all right so what i'm doing is this these are the provinces that i'm taking so this my core right here this so i can connect to this land this so i can connect this land and um then obviously we need some coastal provinces because we are going to be uh, exploring and expanding. Savoy will break their alliance with me. I don't care though. Austria will keep it though since they can't take anything from France and uh, that's awesome. Let's get warps and money as well and uh, that's our independence war with France. Done. Perfect. Burgundy is going to grow. They're going to fight them. I don't know what I'm going to do right here. Main focus now is to stabilize, get more allies and uh, kickstart our exploration campaign. We will keep expanding over here though for sure. Yeah, this is pretty nice. A general with 100 tradition. I think I'm going to keep this guy until my next war, man. I mean, not take this mission till my next war you know what i wouldn't mind at all uh austria getting burgundy although i don't think it'll happen uh it might go to some of these guys though let me do a prediction i think saluto is gonna get burgundy that's what i'm predicting right now let's see i really don't know why we have such a good economy man ever since the start we got like so many loans that we need to pay off still but i'm running advisors i got forts i got armies looking really good Alrighty, there's admin tech 5 obviously for our first idea group he will take exploration ideas now, to explain to some of you that might not know how we're going to form Louisiana, uh, the trick is going to be to first move our capital down here to South Georgia, uh, which will enable us to move our capital over to North America. I'm going to put it in the province that I uh, think New Orleans is in. I don't know which province that would be. And after that, we'll need to own 10 provinces over in that region or whatever uh, to be able to form Louisiana. So, uh, yeah, I think it's going to be colonized like four provinces here, then move our capital. And once we're at four, because, you know, if we do a fifth one, a colonial nation will form. And then once we get four fight natives, I think that's how it's going to go. So uh, we'll see, or maybe just keep colonizing if there is any room to colonize. But yeah, uh, we have quite a bit of time until we get there. Admin tech 10, maybe even after that. We'll see. Secured an alliance with the Pope. You know, the one thing that I'm hoping for from now on is that we don't have to fight uh, some of these guys down here for the land that we want. Oh, uh, we're going to be making so many nations pop out of france we got gascony and toulouse down here i don't think i got claims on those guys let's buy unless this mission right here from a claim on ile de france that's up here now nah, we gotta spy on these guys they'll remove their guarantees soon enough in the meantime though uh, i took my first idea from exploration and there's an explorer let's go exploring you see they didn't fake anything because i had already coalitioned them before that and i think they would have gotten a massive hre coalition if they actually took stuff from france so they didn't actually take anything i'm an idiot i, I click this you know automatically when i really should have went with uh that one so gascony here it's allied france which means i can't be bothered to fight them but toulouse hasn't allied anyone let's go england warned me who's that valid on i guess Foi. i wouldn't fight them either way and then france burgundy actually might be annoying either way we're done here i'm gonna take all three of these provinces we're good i can like castile and portugal i'll do it or no i won't <laughs> how does this happen dude they've rivaled each other i don't think i've ever seen that man what we really need to really start exploring is the third idea from exploration and then diplotech seven man it's just so much diplo points and i'm already focusing on admin it's gonna be a while boys choose a native policy obviously i always go with the native uh coexistence one i just don't want to move my troops around i just don't but then again what are they gonna do here nah, i can't bother to build transports for not yet uh see even our gwyn is too far away i think i am however gonna take uh exile colonial companies for a little more settler chance oh we should probably give the burgers that thingy before before I forget, uh, New World Charters. Dauphine popped out of France, I guess? What's up with France allying all of their, like, rump states or releasables or whatever? Oh, sweet. France actually wouldn't join, man. Oh, and neither England, because they're warning me, nor France would uh, defend Gascony. So we gotta go for this, too. I'm actually gonna call on Austria. Let them do this, because I'm kind of busy with this. 
Okay, War with Dauphine is actually done. These are really high-def provinces, man, and I've been paying so much to clear them up. Look, look at this. Uh, well, actually, these aren't in a state, so it's not that much, but you'll see once I take stuff from, uh, what you call it, Gascony here. It might be a bit too aggressive. Hmm. Well, France did end up joining, but I'll just white-piece them. Oh, I just got plus 50% colonial range from this. Uh, Arguin is still too far. If I get 10% from that decision, I guess we'll be at 264, right? So, how about now? 256? Well, wait, isn't 10% of 240, 24? It's not 16. Or am I stupid? Am I stupid? So we're actually done here. Um, I won't get coalition. Okay, I think uh, that's that's about enough wars for now. Let's uh, let's keep focusing. See, let's keep focusing on uh, colonization. Wait, what government type are we now? We're not an appanage, right? Yeah, it auto swapped us to feudal nobility. I actually never chose that. Usually, you get the option, I think, or no. Oh, now you want to ally me after you lost the Castile. <laughs> Finally, new burger loans, and they're huge now. So let's focus on the economy a bit as well. You know, why not start our golden era now? By the way, I just took this as well, and now I'm working towards Diplotech Seven. Okay, back after about. Four Four or five hours here i had uh some other work to do but what we can hope for here is that uh Brittany takes these two provinces so england no longer borders france so i can go ahead and uh fight france freely so uh let's go ahead and spy on them for these provinces we also got to our second idea group here obviously i'm gonna go expansion you know to speed the whole thing up later okay burgundian succession just happened although i did click off of it who got it <laughs> Look, the funniest thing happened, man. Brittany actually did take those provinces. I wanted them to take Burgundy, just declared on France. Literally just declared on France. Took Paris. And now Burgundy is a junior partner of France. I wish I could contest this somehow, but I really can't. Let's see what happens. Finally, Diplotech 7, dude. Uh, colonial. Yo, Arguin is still uncolonized, but can we go further? We can go further. This one's 400. This one's 370. So this is the furthest one. But do we go like this or do we go like this? So Georgia is like right there, right on that dot, I think. Actually, you know, if we go through South America and we can hop down to here, we can just go hop back up through South America. So what I'm going to do is send a guy here. And then once we take this, I'm also going to send a guy here. So we're also like super close to Louisiana. Can you believe that uh, they're actually keeping a hold of Burgundy, man? They got no troops. <laughs> Just got that second colonist. Yeah, I think this is the furthest. 429. This is 431. So technically Tortuga is further than Turks and Cake. Sure, Tortuga is better either way, I think. No, it's not. Apparently it's not. Whatever. You know, shout out to my main man, Jack Sparrow. Right now I'm not doing anything with these guys since I kind of want to do a big war with them. So I'm waiting for aggressive expansion to die down. Yeah, I gotta expand here. I'm no longer making money at full army maintenance. Well, I'm not losing this much. I just fought some rebels. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and declare in France because if I declare in Burgundy, England will come in as well. So let's just do France. I'm gonna call in Austria. They look to be pretty powerful. And uh, yeah, these guys aren't that good. They're not that strong right now. So let's do it. Yeah, this is actually a pretty good event. Let's see, 70 tradition guy. Wow, that's really good. Still haven't taken the 100 tradition guy, by the way. Let's save him for later. Okay, super easy war. Uh, in the meantime, I got this. Let's see if... <laughs> Uh, I thought I was uh, able to steal Burgundy here, but I can't. So, okay, so I don't really need anything from these guys, but if we're going for this bonus goal here, Fate of Joan of Arc, we need to own Paris, Co, and Bar, which is, you know, Paris, uh, Co, and uh, Bar right here, and we need to have Calais not owned by England. So we can take Paris now. I guess we can take these to get access to Bar, but they're in the HRE. That's going to cause a problem, and then... I'd probably want to take one of these two right here, man. But that's just so much aggressive expansion. We actually can't do this in one war. What if I don't take Paris right now? Yeah, they're all really highly dev. Let me see what I do here. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do, actually. I'm going to take Picardy in Paris, uh, then fight England for Co in Calais, and then finally fight uh, France and Burgundy or whoever is here for these two. Then I... <gasps> Bar isn't in the HRE. Oh, why can't I vassalize them? This time between borders were right here, dude. Oh my god, they're not in the HRE. They could join, though, if they get good enough relations with uh, Austria. Frick. Either way, this is my peace deal for now, man. Um, Let's get money. That, that was 60 duck. All right, sweet. Uh, I can become what now? Kingdom. Sure. Colony in Alcantara is done. I have heard of that place, but what I uh, haven't heard of is being smart, apparently, because uh, I still haven't explored down here. So, uh... Come on, what's that? Uh, South Atlantic? Atlantic, South America. Okay, I explored some more of this as as far as I can go. So let's colonize Santa Catarina. There we go. After that, I should be able to get the South Georgia. Colony here is done. Once again, I haven't explored here. What, what am I doing? Don't tell me this is Portugal. No, it's not. It's someone else. W would this be, you 
Orleans, or would this be it? I don't know. Tier 4 cover form time? I, I am staying Catholic, obviously. Uh, lanes for the church. Aha, this is Nachi... Nachi... Toches. Interesting. Am I gonna have to fight a 70,000 member federation for this? No, apparently not, but it's still not gonna be easy. Okay, so I looked at maps and uh, New Orleans is supposed to be right here. I'm guessing this is like Lake uh, Pontchartrain or something like that. So yeah, we're gonna be moving our capital to Kitty Macha and then uh, then forming Louisiana. Dude, the thing is, I, um, I don't have access to any of these guys, right? I guess it would be the best to like colonize this, then move my capital there, then start conquering these guys guys because they're not migratory anymore they got more than one province or here who are who are these guys allies aha uh -huh. so these guys are their allies so i can take this and one more all right then i'm gonna colonize that all right man i think we gotta go for this england war right here because they are pretty freaking powerful they got like 55k troops uh luckily castile and obviously aragon will help me out here and the pope won't help england so we gotta do it now man let's declare for kelly and i got so many points here mill points i'm just gonna bomb every fort for real Actually, let's check out this 100 tradition general now, even though I got that 70 tradition guy already. The 70 guy is actually better. <laughs> oh, I, I was already maxed out. I just wasted 200 mil points right there. You have to actually be kidding me. Look, man, France, back from the freaking dead, dude. They were down to two provinces, got a fairly sized Burgundy, you know, even though they did give up these uh, lands up here to, uh, you know, the HRE. They actually just inherited Burgundy, man. France, it's back. Good job. This seems about good enough. Now for now versus England, Bordeaux, Co, Calais, these two right here. Yeah. Okay, so if we want to, we're sorta of kinda of done with fighting England right here. The next targets are France and Bar. In the meantime, let's keep colonizing. Still at admin tech seven, by the way, even though I could be at eight if I wasn't doing this, but we got plenty of time. We can finish this off for sure. Just got two 100 uh, population events for this one right here. I love those. Just got another 100 population event for this uh, one right here, which means, yes, we can colonize South Georgia. Perfect. Now, I always forget this. Okay, this one's done too. I always forget this. If we move our capital here, do we lose everything here? Or is that only when you form a new world nation? So I think if if I move my capital here, I'll still have this. But then when I form Louisiana, Orleans will just remain here. <laughs> You know, so do I move it now? Do I start fighting these guys now? And then we're just ready. Boom for uh, admin 10. Yeah, let's see. Let's see what happens once we finish off uh, South Georgia. I'm not going to colonize anything with the second guy uh, until then. We need like a million admin points till then, man. Moving our capital twice is going to cost us like 800 admin points. I've been focusing on admin since the start. We still need to finish off exploration. Uh, we still need to tech up three times. We got a lot of time on tell that man it's gonna be like 15 30 something i think the thing is i want to move my capital so i can fight these guys you assholes i did not spawn colonialism jesus christ it's always these two man i swear oh we got a unique one right here the french one complete movement speed you know i guess that's actually pretty good if we want to get our uh boys over to louisiana so sure uh while we're waiting around for the colonies and attack and the ideas and stuff like that my truce with france just expired uh, let's go ahead and fight them for uh well actually maybe just rames right Right here to get a border with a bar or these two depending on what we have uh, the least aggressive expansion with so i don't know what to declare for how many times has my king prematurely died bro this campaign i swear i've never had more rulers die i think i'm gonna shred this fate of joan of arc thing man uh it says calais right but also i think everything i think england can't have anything in the region of france <laughs> i i hate it i i hate it so much that event requirements and mission requirements are written in in code you know it's like you you know what i mean it's written in like programming code or whatever the explanations either way that's enough complaining i'm not really salty about that uh actually i am but yeah let's go ahead and peace out france just for I'm, I'm sort of minimizing aggressive expansion here. If we need to fight Bar and then England like 50 times, yeah, we're going to need that AE. Uh, well, not behind. Cool. Spying on Bar. Let's see the situation with South Georgia. Right. We want to full state this. And to move our capital there, it's 400, obviously. Yeah, I need to full state this too, actually. You know, sometimes these uh, pop-ups. Why do I care about that? I, I really don't. They're not pro uh, countries of interest, man. <laughs> Neither of them, yeah. <laughs> Why not finish off Bar now, I guess? Yeah, they're already accepted since it's also just OPM Scotland. So there we go. Oh, we got all the necessary provinces specifically to take this right here. But we just need to kick England out of uh, France, which 
I guess we don't have to take everything, man. We can make them release Brittany and stuff like that. But still, the war score is the problem. The war score is still the same whether I take it or I make them release someone. So. Okay, so I have enough admin points to move my capital to South Georgia. Now, we're making about 5.8 ducats a month right now. After I move my capital, apparently I can no longer be something. What? Oh, exile colonial companies. We don't got it. Or uh, expanderal court. And now I'm making... I'm losing money, actually. So we do need to move our main trade node back to uh, Champagne, which we only have 10% control over the frick okay back to making a little more money i guess i don't know and now we need 317 more admin points to move our capital here all right no there's no point in doing that we still can't get um what you call it colonial nations like this right because if i move it here i don't think i can form louisiana i think it needs to be in like uh, colonial louisiana or something like that uh i think i'm gonna spy on these guys uh i freaking hate these uh two month diplomat journeys whatever let's fight england uh for anjou so right now I'm going to give this to Castile, make them release Brittany, and I'm going to take these three provinces, and we'll deal with the rest in the next war. So that's it for now. Finally, we're up on exploration. Now we can strictly, you know, focus on, um, heck, just waiting for Austria to beat Venice's ass here as we take our tier five gov reform. Is anything gonna disembark speed? Attrition when loaded on ships. See, this is actually really important for me. Attrition when loaded on ships minus 25%. This is all to get these guys over to uh, Louisiana. Okay, well, that's all done. Let's uh, let's start ferrying these guys. I actually didn't lose that many troops, man. O only 6k. Still better than uh, deleting my army and rebuilding it here and waiting. Perfect. Just as I leave, I still left. Let's declare on Hasinai right here. And uh, obviously my uh, boys that I need to take the province from are their allies and already co belligerent This is going to be super easy. They're way behind in tech. Yeah. Yeah. So we really got to expand up this way because we need 10 provinces in uh, colonial Louisiana. There's admin 10. I'm actually going to pick up a mill idea group here. Um, Offensive. Oh, dude, this is, <laughs> these are the same guys. <laughs> they have provinces here and here. Yo, uh, this all got transferred to me. I actually don't want provinces provinces from Austria here, man. I got to transfer occupation of everything uh, over to them. Good thing I thought of it. Eh. Okay, so these guys have basically been defeated and uh, let's aim to take as much as we can in colonial Louisiana here, which is this. And uh, well, actually, let's do a separate piece on these guys to take this from colonial Louisiana. Ah, oh, they won't accept. Not yet. Uh, actually, I can do this from the main peace deal. So there we go. That's done. Hey, a month ticked over and a colonial nation didn't form. Excellent. So yeah, this does only work moving your capital just down there. Uh, uh, let's core this up and uh yeah i'll be moving my capital to a uh, nouvelle orleans that's right baby new orleans that's what's up but yeah we gotta fight these guys up north here next so i'm actually gonna split off a 5k or no uh i'm actually gonna hire the free company they're kind of big but eh. and they're kind of expensive the frick no i'm not gonna do anything yeah oh they formed a federation the hasinai federation okay okay so everything is done coring here except for one province i didn't want to risk it as you can see boys i got Four provinces in colonial Mexico and uh, five provinces, four of which have now been cored in colonial Louisiana. I don't want to risk a colonial nation forming. So what we're actually going to do is state up Louisiana here, full stated, I mean, and uh, then wait for peace to move our capital here. Then I'll core this. Helping out Spain with something. I don't know. Oh, we actually can't take Joan of Arc because we moved our capital. <laughs> No, and that is my uh, bonus goal or secondary goal failed. Listen, if we manage to kick out England out of France, let's just pretend I did it. Spain finally peaced out. Let's move our capital to Nouvelle Orleans. Ah very very nice now we should have the decision yeah there it is a uh, form louisiana nation just need five more provinces in uh, colonial louisiana perfect dude we can also form illinois form uh, uh france still okay F florida well someone annexed france i guess provence uh, obviously we don't want to form france but we can do it through this mission too i almost clicked it dude yeah this is how you form france we said we're not gonna do this so yeah let's not do it okay so let's fight pakaha here uh, they seem to have like uh well five provinces in colonial louisiana so this may be the war uh chicksaw coeta and sue are gonna be in this war as well but we don't really care do we okay so all of their provinces are in colonial louisiana we're done with this war let's take one two three four and uh five 
provinces. There we go. Oh, uh, this is probably going to be the most disgusting border we've ever done, but that's all I need, man. That's really all I need. Are we actually done? Yo, yo, we're actually done. Thick flag, too. What is that? What is that? Oh, wait. Oh, dude, I all of this got released from me as Orlean, you know, and uh, they immediately formed France. But yeah, there you go, man. Start off as Orlean and a couple of provinces over here in the France region as an appanage of France. You already know what it is, man. A nation that can uh, fight other subject nations, which we, of course, were one ourselves. Fought a couple of the other appanages. Got um, England, Austria, Savoy, and Aragon to support my independence. Uh, breaking free from France wasn't that easy, but it wasn't that hard either. A little bit of trouble, but in the end, we managed to do it. After that, you know, got some other alliances over in Europe. Pretty slow expansion over in the region of France. I gotta say, aggressive expansion was quite high. Of course, my bonus goal was to take that Joan of Arc decision because uh, we couldn't do the military order of nuns because we'd have to play 167 more years at least uh, to, you know, do that. But uh, yeah, slow and steady expansion in the France region. We did have a little bit of trouble with admin and diplo points right at the start, but uh, open up exploration, expansion, offensive, started colonizing, super, super chill luckily didn't have to fight someone massive over in the new world uh for any provinces here like portugal or castile even though portugal actually sucks quite hard this game but uh yeah moved our capital down to uh south georgia colonized some stuff over here then moved our capital to uh new orleans right here as it were uh fought just uh two wars versus the you know the native nations over here and uh yeah took a bunch of provinces in the first war made this our capital took a bunch of provinces in the second war as well and uh apparently i didn't even have to pour all of these up because uh we could immediately take the decision to form louisiana and uh with that the goal for today's campaign is accomplished what else do you want me to say man what else do you want me to say pretty straightforward game honestly i did have fun i wish we could do the military order of nuns i just wish it was earlier or something like that i didn't want to mess with any mods or game files or anything like that you guys know we don't do that uh in a to z you know to get it earlier or something like that but yeah economy was actually pretty good up until now army was really strong as well and a uh, pretty straightforward game did build quite a few buildings things over in uh in france which uh, apparently now i can't show off because that's not me but uh yeah yeah super fun super fun campaign i wonder uh i wonder what we have next but ladies and gentlemen boys and girls i'm happy to say that this campaign as orleans in a to z has been a success and that has been orleans in a to z let me know in the comments below what i should do with this nation next week if you enjoyed this video don't hesitate to leave a like it really helps out a lot and if you like the content and want to see more videos like this make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of them and you can become a member today and join the discord the link is in the description thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time with another eu4 video